hey, let's create a blog post. We're going to do it going through the stages. And I will recommend that if you are going to add images, which isn't a bad idea, make sure they are compressed and optimized for page speed performance. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into WordPress. We're going to go to posts and you would normally click add new. Now, if you're not sure of your title, we could use Bertha to give it to us. Now, I already know what I'm going to use, which is how to get more website clients on LinkedIn. So I could type it in, but I'll keep it in mind and let's see what Bertha can generate for us. Now, in case anyone gets stuck at this point, when you click add a title, Bertha doesn't appear. But don't be alarmed by that. I'm just going to click on the area below and we have the Bertha symbol appear here. I'm going to click that and I'm then going to go down to blog post title. Of course, bear in mind, you can either scroll or just click the blog button. Same thing at the end of the day. Blog post topic ideas, let's click that. So in the description, I've actually just put how to get website clients using LinkedIn. And here are some fantastic ideas. There's a huge selection here. You're just gonna go and pick the one that you like and you're gonna apply. I have to say though, this one here, how to find website clients on LinkedIn or why most web agencies have terrible social media strategies. I quite like that because it's almost like answering a question but it's also telling me a bit more about what others are doing and that might be more informative. So I'm gonna go with that title. Obviously when you click it, it's gonna paste all of them in. Don't worry about that. I'm just gonna delete the ones I don't want. And the title I did like, I'm just gonna copy and stick that into my title. So there we go, we have a bit of a lengthy title, but it is kind of, I think in my opinion, gonna be enticing for someone to possibly have a read. Make sure you've copied it. And now we're gonna go and start putting together the structure of the post. Now I'm gonna to go to the blog post outline. Now, well, as soon as you click that, it will ask you for what was the title of your article, which remember, we already copied, so we're gonna paste it in. So to get the title in, I've modified it slightly to stay within the 100 uh, characters, find website clients rather than how to find. It's the same thing. We've got some great ideas here. I actually like this one here. Listen to your friends and coworkers, write a good post on LinkedIn, search for companies. I'm gonna paste that in. So that's now gonna give me my blog post outline structure. Don't forget if there's some content on here that you do wanna use, you can either click like another blog post outline so you have two different bits of information appearing or you can favorite it and come back to it later. So I'm gonna favorite this one in case I decide to use it later on. So we've got our outline. I'm gonna hit return a few times just so we have a bit of spacing. I'm gonna take the first header. I'm just gonna get rid of that number one. And underneath it now, I'm actually gonna do an intro paragraph. Now, of course, we could probably do an intro paragraph below the title as well. And I might come back onto that once I see what it generates for me. So listen to your friends and coworkers. Let's hit Bertha again. We're gonna go back and we're gonna to go to blog post intro paragraph. We click it and we're gonna paste into there the first uh, topic we've got there, which is, or well, the outline, listen to your friends and coworkers. So we will drop that in over here. Again, some really good ideas here. It's sometimes some of the stuff that gets pumped out here, you kind of go, oh yeah, I knew that but I never thought about dragging it out of my brain and putting it into words. Like here, um, a story about a message from your friend, you went over, you came to a problem. This is real life. This is kind of what some of us do on a daily basis, but it sometimes disappears from our consciousness when we're going, oh, I gotta write a blog post. We sometimes forget about real life experiences. I'm also gonna go back up a step. So underneath the title, so I'm just gonna add in a return here. I'm actually gonna do another intro paragraph for LinkedIn, uh, just for the main article before we jump down. So I'm gonna take this part here, how to find website clients on LinkedIn. Let's go to the generator. Let's go back a step. And in here, the title of the article, we're in the blog post intro paragraph, by the way, how to find website clients on LinkedIn. Again, really wonderful content. Um, I mean, I'm looking at this and I feel like I might as well stick them all in. But of course, there will be a little bit of repetition going on there. So I'm going to go for this one here. LinkedIn is uh, one of the most underutilized marketing channels for business. Believe me, that is so true. I keep telling people out there, it is an undiscovered gold mine. Well, it is a gold mine, but it is discovered. I might edit this bit out or not. Who knows? Anyway, right. So there we go. We have our title. We have our intro paragraph before we get onto the first topic. But I think this is looking a little bit light right now. We need to add in an image. Remember, this is WordPress, okay? We're not jumping into any page builders. And I would recommend you do your posts just within WordPress. Main reason being, if you ever change your page builder and you built your post with the page builder, you might regret it. 
Whereas if you do your post in WordPress, it doesn't matter what page of builder you use in terms of how it's presented, it will just pull through the content from WordPress. Trust me, you don't want to make that mistake. So I'm going to add in a image underneath here of this one here. Let me just put a return there. We're going to put a return there. And again, and I'm now going to drop in an image. So we hit the plus line or add a block. And I'm going to drop in an image and I'm going to either upload an image or get one in from my media library. Now, I've already done some preparation for this. So I'm going to drop in this image that I created uh, using Canva. Please don't forget when you drop in an image, you can either hit the horizontal kind of aligned circle there or the vertical one, and you can start to mess around with how it looks. I'm actually just going to leave it roughly about that big, and I'm just going to centralize it to be something like that. So we have our title, we have our intro paragraph, and we have an image. We've got our first block there. We could expand on this, okay? So we've said one of the best ways to get a message across is by using your friends in category. Could we expand on that rather than jumping on to topic two? So I've gone back to blog post intro paragraph and I've taken the first line here. One of the best ways to get a message across is by using your friends and co-workers. If I now drop that in, is that going to give me something a little bit different that I can help to pad out the information? Of course, please do remember, Bertha is so powerful and useful but there might be something you want to say and it's not exactly saying it and that's where you can add to it. You elaborate, you expand, you pad it out a bit, okay? So this is based on the very first sentence there and I've now says in order to truly get a message across, you need to take advantage of your audience. I think that is actually quite true. So we're going to drop that in. So I've literally done two intro paragraphs, okay? One of them was based on, listen, let me just get rid of this. One of them was based on listen to your friends and co-workers to do this paragraph. And when I took this line here, literally that line, to then create another paragraph and, you know, read it, modify it, expand on it if you have to. But that now gives me much more meaningful information. We now get down to the second topic idea. Write a really good post on LinkedIn. Let's just put a few returns in. And now I'm going to look at that and go, what bit of that do I want? So I'm going to take this bit, write a really good post on LinkedIn. I'm then going to go below and I'm now going to get my intro paragraph. We click Bertha. I will go back a step to the intro paragraph and I'm now going to put the title of the article. Please do remember, you've got your sentiment. I've got witty. So if you want to have humorous, serious, formal, complicated, robotic, whatever you want to go for, please do stick that in. The idea on here that's really caught my eye is this one. You're already on LinkedIn. You got an account. But what you're doing wrong is you're writing boring social posts, okay? And I think that is actually very true of some of the problems with how people don't use LinkedIn very well. So let's click that. So let's give that second uh, header, put it in bold. And now we've got our additional content. And again, I could pick one of these up. Uh, so it says here, you probably write boring short status updates that get ignored by everyone. Let's copy that, okay? Hit a return there. Hit Bertha and now say, get some further intro paragraph content about that. And here we go. The very first one it gives us just grabs me. People love a good status update, but I'm guessing you're not one of them. I have five tips that will help you post get noticed. And it's already enticed me with, I have five tips that will help your post get noticed. Hmm. And you will notice that Bertha has gone and put the word Facebook in. Now, don't worry about that. I'm just going to change it back to LinkedIn. It's not uncommon for it sometimes to pull words through. And because it's social media related, it's pulled through Facebook, or it might even put the name Andrew in when you've put another name in. Don't worry, these are easy corrections to make as you're doing your post. I mean, come on, we have got all this content and I'm doing a video as we're talking about it and the words are just flowing out. So I'm now gonna take something here where it says five tips that will help your posts get noticed. I've copied it. But before we go in and see what Bertha's gonna tell us about that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit a plus sign and I'm now going to drop in another image. So over here, we're going to take five tips that will help your posts get noticed, okay? And I'm now going to go to the blog post outline because that is actually probably going to give us lots of individual topics and it might not give us five, but we can pick and mix what we want to use. So I'm just going to type over here or paste. And what did I say? We've actually got five here got four here and I can now pick and choose. Write a catchy title, hashtags, eye-catching image, keep your content interesting and relevant, tell incredible stories. I mean, that isn't absolutely perfect, of course, depending on your market and your niche area, but you can start to pick and choose. Tell a good story, write an article that others will want to share. I mean, 
I'm just giving you examples here. This has just all come out straight out of Burfa. In fact, I'm going to favorite that one. And I'm going to favorite the one above and below as well, because no doubt I'll probably want to use them later on. And if you have forgotten where to go for that, over here is favorites. You go into favorites and now you will see anything you have favorited. And it's not just going to be for blog posts. Anytime you've used Burfa on this website in particular, you can now get access to anything you have copy and paste it into your clipboard. So it is super, super versatile and good. At this point, I could expand even more on this. And I hope you're getting the idea behind this now. I could say, right, I'm gonna write a catchy title. So it's told us what to do. You could leave it there or you could expand on it. So I'm gonna hit return a few times like that. Go to the blog post intro paragraph and I'm gonna type over here, write a catchy title and we know what it's gonna do. And here we go, it's giving me some examples. I'm just gonna pick this one here, which actually uses a quote in its, uh, what it's delivered to us. Each one of these of the five tips, I could now copy it, go to blog intro paragraph, get a paragraph and then expand further if I wanted to. My recommendation would do that. I mean, I would probably stick another image over here just to kind of break things up again before I move on to uh, the third and fourth. Uh, subheader, search for companies that have posted jobs. Again, you're going to go through the same drill. You're going to copy that. Okay. You're going to go down here below. You're going to go to Burfa, blog intro paragraph, and you're going to see what it gives you. And if you don't like what Burfa gives you initially, just hit generate more ideas. So I'm going to go for this paragraph here. And the same thing, we're rinsing and repeating. Okay. But it's giving me loads of wording and I can delete words, add words and do what I want with it. If you cut out all the bits where I'm talking to you, I would have had this post completely done in about 15 minutes. Now just compare that to how long it normally takes you to write a blog post. Let's just preview this for a moment. Most of us will have a page builder, so we will have stylized this to look a little bit differently. But this is just the raw WordPress post preview. But we have title, intro paragraph, image. Look at this wording. I mean, seriously. Would you have come up with loads of these ideas straight off the bat yourself if you were going to write a post about getting web clients on LinkedIn? This does not have a bulletproof answer, but that's where your knowledge and intellect and what you know and experience will come in. But Bertha is going to give you 90% of what you need, believe me, and then the other 10% is what you want to just add in to spruce it up. Hey, look, I hope this helps you and I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Because Burfa is so powerful and easy to use when it comes to writing posts, getting intro paragraphs, getting what the topic breakdown is. It's pretty versatile. And the worst thing you can do is not have a go. You won't be disappointed.